Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something a little different. I have four pool filters here and this is kind of something that I'm doing and to tell you the truth, I don't even know if it's gonna be a fail or if it's going to be a success, but either way guys, I'm going to post it so that you guys can see. I have four pool filters. These are pool filters for, in my case, a summer wave pool, but they also work in the Intex above ground pools as well. I believe they are an AC filter. You get two in a package, but look, they get so corroded with junky stuff some algae whatever's picked up and uh, they're just getting dirty and inside it also collects stuff through the center that kind of goes in there so I always change my filters guys key to keeping your pool clean is one keeping your cover on when you're not using it and two keeping a really good clean filter so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna bring them inside and stick them in my washing machine yes I know my washing machine it was actually Chris's idea so like I said I don't know if this is gonna be a fail or a success so let's go check it out because I'm sick of cleaning them. I've done bleach washes on them. Like, look at this one especially. Gross. I can't wait. Okay, let's go put that in the wash. All right, so I've already gone ahead and added some liquid soap as well as some liquid bleach. I'm going to pop those bad boys in there, close this up, and let's turn this on. I'm going to do, uh, what should I do here? No, let's bring it over to normal. We'll do warm. A high spin and we will do um it's a light load I'm gonna do light light load and that's it press start and in 54 minutes we'll come take a look Ooh, i'm excited all right so let's take a look they smell clean that's for sure okay so they're definitely still dirty on the inside, there's some gunk in there that didn't get to come out. Uh, in between is super clean. No more algae stuff in between there. It was good, a little tiny bit there, but I wonder if I shake these out. Um, it's fairly loose, so that's pretty uh, gunked on there. But I wonder if I was to shake these out outside after I let them dry overnight. Um, will more of that gunk come out? How did they all turn? They all look pretty good. This one looks good. Oh, no, look at here. There is right there. Do you see that? There's a hole in it. So I don't know if that was there before. I don't recall seeing that. I don't know if one of these caused it. This one is really so overall, they did get clean in between these little um, filter threads here, but inside kind of where it goes in through here. That's where it all is. So tomorrow I'm gonna give them a good shake out cause it is really late now and they're still a bit damp. I'm gonna give them a good shake out and then uh, we'll see how much comes out. But I don't think it's looking good guys. I don't think these are going to be salvageable, but we'll find out tomorrow after we give them a good shake. All right guys, so it's the next day and I am back with my clean dried filters. And as you did see, remember there was one filter that was damaged. So I've put that one to the side and I have these three ones. They are dried, they are clean. And what I'm gonna do now is just simply do this. I don't know if you guys can see that in the screen, but they are super filled with dust, chlorine, little pieces that are throughout it. You can see all the stuff that is stuck in there. So I'm going to just hit them and see if I can get some of it out. So usually when you have a filter, what you wanna do is you wanna take it out of your pool, have this one out of the pool, and you can see that it is very dirty, very caked. So let me put this one out for a second. This is one of the ones that was cleaned and this is a dirty one. So this one still looks dirty, but it is dry and everything is hopefully gonna be banged out of there. So this is the one that I just took out. I'm just gonna throw that back in there for a minute. and. These are the three I'm going to work with. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to try and, I don't know, knock them together, hit them off the pool, do what I got to do, and try and get as much gunk out of these filters as I can. So let's start doing that. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is literally, like, you see the chunks falling out of these? I haven't had to hit it against the brick or the pool or anything. It is coming out very easy. Look at it all coming out. Whoa, that was a lot of beating and bumping of these things. But guys, I think it's safe to say that it worked. Look at it. It looks so much better than it did. 
Let me take this one and show you. So you can see that just hitting it, oh, there's still a couple little things in there. Here's like a bigger one in here, but hitting it, look, at, even if I just hit it like this, that comes, gets loose and comes right out. So if I was to give these a couple little more hits, they would be completely clean. But I would say guys that this, oh, there's a little bit more in there probably get it out like as soon as you start hitting it it just keeps coming out so guys i would say that this is a two thumbs up if you guys have a pool that takes these ac filters like my swim wave summer wave pool here then throw these bad boys in the washing machine what i would suggest because it did uh rip the other one is maybe put them in like a mesh bag or a bralette bag or a hat bag something to just protect them a little bit more that is something i will do the next time i throw them in there but i will 100 percent be definitely throwing these bad boys in the washing machine again and just letting them dry and then hitting the gunk out like I just did. This was actually Chris's idea. So thank you, Chris, my husband, for mentioning this to me and I'm super excited. So let's get this new clean filter into this pool so that it can circulate all night so we have a fresh clean pool to swim in tomorrow morning. Okay, so before I change out this filter, I just wanted to let you guys in on just a little secret tidbit that I found out um, since using this pool. This is the Summer Wave Elite Pool. It is very similar to an Intex pool. It uses, like we just saw, these filters. They go right in and they suction and comes through this tube and shoots into the pool. So this usually has a skimmer on the top of it so it sits just right in here it collects all the dirt and debris in the basket and then i'm able to take the basket out dump it i find that the water pressure that runs through this pipe here is not at maximum pressure when i have my skimmer basket in so what i do in the evening after i have drain the pool or drain the pool after I've taken the kids out of the pool taken the toys out and I've gone and skimmed it I take out my skimmer basket here for the night and I just leave the filter going and in the morning when I wake up because I have my little air vent nozzle set to eight o'clock inside the pool it just circulates everything in a perfect circular in the morning everything any dirt and debris that's ever left over is in the middle of the pool and I'm then able to suck it right out so that is another good tidbit is you don't need to have your skimmer basket in all the time. I do find with the specific pump and filter in the specific pool that it works better without it. But let's get back to it. So what I'm going to do now is this is the old filter. As you can see, it is pretty dirty. What am I going to do with this now? I'm going to stick it in the washing machine because we now know that that works, but it is so easy. So here is one of the old ones that have been washed. I'm just going to stick it in there. It is going to get suctioned right in there. And then all I'm going to do is put the lid on it and it is good till tomorrow so guys that is all for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time